Do you want me to say? No, Steve, I'm asking you directly. I'm your older brother. Look at me right now. Before we even start, nothing's on, right? No, we're not recording, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Do you eat your boogers? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? When you did that, when you made that sound, yeah. you didn't hear my heart crack. Mm. It went like this. <laughs> Wait, you still eat your boogers full? I know. <laughs> I know. Let's talk about your toes. <laughs> you you want to talk about body parts? No, 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 no. Well, then let's let it go. I don't want to. No, no. All right. You're my older brother. I know. Respect. Let it go. Okay, and no, we're no, no. back. Don't, but Welcome don't do that. Don't, to another I'm, episode of Tiger Belly Steve, Steve. featuring the Scissor Bros. Steve, <laughs> I'm the. So I'm going to introduce you guys. Okay, okay. sorry. Cool. Still is my podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Let's do a. Let's do a. Um, and three, uh, two, one. Uh, You're doing fucking cross the sorcery. This is my brother right here. This is my other brother. Let's, I'm oh, going to introduce you. Geez. Do the countdown. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. I'm your friend, Bobby Lee, going around, making it happen. Party Town, USA. Party Town, USA. Tiger Belly. It's Tiger Belly. Tiger Belly. It's Tiger Belly. It's a Tiger Belly. Yeah, yeah. Tiger. Doing it right. The belly of Doing the tiger. Doing it wrong. <laughs> belly of the tiger. The belly of the tiger. Uh, okay. Anyway. Yeah. Welcome to another episode. I'm your um, host, and um, let's start from the top. Tiger belly. belly. Tiger, tiger belly. Right. belly. Tiger belly. Oh um, no. Um, welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. I feel great today mm-hmm. because I have family in the house, mm-hmm. right? We've got you, dude. Mm-hmm. Your family now. I tried. You're my second cousin. Thanks, man. Mm-hmm. And who's your first? You are. I'm your first cousin. <laughs> and my lover. Your lover is your first cousin? Oh, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. my lover. It's not right? taboo at all. Yeah, we're like from West Virginia. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. The Appalachian Mountains. Mm-hmm. I would share a trailer with you. If we grew up in the Appalachian Mountains. I heard it was Appalachia. Whatever it is, right? You and I would just have gums, no teeth. Yeah. Doing meth in yeah. a trailer. But there'd be love there, baby. Mm-hmm. Have you guys heard of Amazon style lovemaking? <laughs> no, but no. it sounds like awesome. I just, okay, what is I'm it? so behind on this, but. Let's introduce them first, though. Okay, yeah. All right. Well, so you guys are going to do it. We're gonna Amazon sh- style? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what we got today is I'm so excited because we've got, um, I don't know, one of the most wholesomes. You're a wholesome white. And you know what? Out of, you're, dude, out of all the whites I've ever met, you're the purest. I'd say so. I would say so. And you make my heart glow. Wow. Right? Not a big glow, but a dim light. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> so we've got vitamin. one half of the Scissor Brothers. Mm-hmm. Don't we're not gonna clap yet. Okay. All right. The other one is a more famous brother. My famous brother. Right. Mm-hmm. He's more no, famous than I. Cut that out, Gilbert. No, stop. Cut that out. No, no, don't cut it out. Cut right. George. I'm cut done. it out. No, don't cut Ti- it out. Timestamp. Timestamp time time stamp it. Right. Yeah. He's older. He's funnier. I read on. I'm on the internet. <laughs> I'm your younger brother. No, no, I'm on the internet. Dude. I'm and your read, younger brother. I read comments, bro. I'm your younger brother. And. and, and just based on the comments, right? I'm the younger brother. I'm your younger. I'm brother. the less funny. I'm the less more famous one. And so that's why I want to bring you, you up. out of your Lay, mind. What have you been saying on yours though? On Scissor Brothers? That's what the people say. We don't say. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Gilbert, yeah, yeah, we yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, we don't say that. Yeah, no. Anyways, guys, Stevie Weeby. Stevie <laughs> Weeby and the and Jeremiah, Jeremiah Watkins. Watkins. Yeah. Watkins. Jeremiah. Can we do three scissors? What's three scissors? One, two, two three. <laughs> that's Damn, it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's it. Uh, why? I don't know. It's my OCD. Three. Oh, that's your OCD. You three. have to do three? three. Do you do that around the house? Do you have to touch things and whatnot? Yeah. Are you do like which ones? Well, well, what before, do you do? I touched my fridge three times. Did you steal his OCD ticks? No, no that was mine first. Mm-hmm. Was it really? Yeah. I, yeah. That's oh. not what the internet's saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you steal the thing where I do with the cracks on the street or no? 
<laughs> Everyone does the cracks on the street. Yeah, I don't know. All right, all right, all you stole that from TV. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, damn. Yeah, from oh, like with okay. that one Jack Nicholson, Helen Hunt movie. Yeah. yeah. You know that we went to Poway recently. Do you know that? Well, I heard you FaceTiming him while you were at your old house where you grew up. So we went to that house and it was pretty, pretty cryptic, right? What does cryptic mean? It was like the movie Poltergeist. Like at there was no one there, but there's some furniture still. Like Is it, it for was, sale? I don't we don't know. We don't know. It kind of looks semi abandoned, or if somebody's just like leaving their stuff there because there's like a couple portions. Was in this the, the haunted house? Yeah. yeah. Mm, that's why. Yeah, I know. I was telling you. I'm yeah. like, oh, they got the hell out of there. The, the yeah. building, the color of the house, I mean, is different. The pool's gone. Yeah, it used to be tanner. Yeah. Don't you think? Was it darker? Yeah, it was darker. It's too light. I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. Right, the pool's gone and completely gone. Completely gone. Mom's gazebo's still there. Yeah. Right, basketball court gone. Gone. You guys grew up with all of this? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was surprised to find out. Yeah, he was he was surprised that like we grew up grew up in such a like well to do kind of neighborhood. Yeah. It's and like, I told him like, really like yeah, nice we grew up oh, no, in we a nice drove by, by at yeah. night and Oh I you just, did? Green oh, Valley, baby. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, is it still we, called Green Valley, baby? Yeah. yeah. We drove by um, Painted Rock. Is that right? Yeah, we Painted went to Rock? Painted Rock. Yeah. yeah, we went to Painted Rock. Yeah. So um, there's some bad news from your voyage and your experience that I heard on the phone. What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, if you want me to get into it, I will. Please do. Um, you saw the coach? Coach Branstetter. Oh, that was good news. We saw... We, so we, my brother we, we, hunted we down Steve Coach Branstetter. Coach. Yeah. Not only did we hunt him down, we went to the new wrestling facility. Oh, you're wrestling. Oh, he yeah. Tour. He gave yeah. us a first-hand tour. He unlocked it he for unlocked us. He unlocked it for us because the new coach was in... Vegas with the, at a tournament. Yeah, yeah. So he, he had key like we went. This is a two million dollar facility. Is your name still it's, up there? In by the way, can I? Let, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. I know you guys have talked about how you used to wrestle at Poway and stuff. Yeah. Steve is a celebrity there. His name is everywhere. His picture is everywhere. Up on the walls, behind glass cases, on plaques. What? It's amazing. Look at me, Steve. That. Yeah. Is that real? How's that is real. How do you feel, Steve, when you walk I back? feel bad for him, though. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, no, wait, wait, wait. He talked Tiger about it. Wait, wait, wait. Tiger belly. Tiger wait, we'll do this. Scissor brother. Tiger, Tiger belly. belly. Tiger belly. Right, right. Let's Tiger do it. Um, okay. Oh, the way he talked about you, it's... Oh, like, wait, don't, don't point. Just cl slow down. Wait, dude. wait, wait. The way he talked about you, <laughs> degrading, disrespectful, <laughs> demoralizing. Yeah, yeah. He talked about you like you're still in rehab. <laughs> All right, Bobby. So, yeah. Am I, I lying? I got offended on your behalf. Holy smokes. right! What? It was the way insane. the way he talked about you. It was you. insane. All right, so let's what did go, he say? dude. Oh, he said, "Coulda, woulda, shoulda." He, he, <laughs> he goes, he, he goes, he goes, Bobby. He goes, Bobby. He, goes Bo <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, bro. He, he said, "Bobby graduated from the <laughs> school of woulda, coulda, and shoulda." <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> He said, Shut it, bro, bro, bro. All right, fuckers. Enough said. Dude, it's uh, crazy, dude, right? So coulda, woulda, it's shoulda. It's crazy. Dude, and you know what's the best part? What? We caught it on camera, so you can rewatch it over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we have it on camera. Yeah, yeah. We vlogged everything. Did you explain to him, though? Just, dude, he, this is care. what he said. He's like, Oh, what? I heard he does comedy. Or he, he said it like all, but it was such a disrespect. It was such a dismissive <laughs> thing. He's like, oh, yeah, I heard he does. He, he goes, comedy. I guess he. <laughs> he goes, I, I guess he's a comedian or something now. Oh, oh dude, ow. we talked about it for like a half hour in his car. Like, dude, isn't that like he was in his own microcosm? Like, yeah, it made me realize like he, that's his world. What was your relationship with him when you were? Explain the story. Oh, all right. So in my junior year in high school, okay. I went to rehab. I went to the McDonald's Center. Okay. When I got, what's so fucking funny, dude? Keep going. No, no, no keep going. When this is I good. got out of the fucking McDonald's, what the fuck, bro? I love it. No, this is good. All right. So my junior year, right? So my senior year, I'm sober now. Okay. I had got uh, through the summer. I'd gone to a bunch of meetings, and and me and my sponsor at the time decided because I had to do so many credits in school to graduate that he said um, my sponsor was just like. You, to, you have to cut weight down to 105. You weigh 125 now. Damn. I don't think that's a healthy thing. I think we should more focus on the schoolwork. Maybe take the year off because you don't really like wrestling anyway or whatever. So I went up to Coach Brand Center. I remember it vividly. <laughs> 
I go, Coach. He's like, 105, right? We're getting ready. <laughs> and I go, I, I'm not going to wrestle this year. And he, go, he looks at me like this. And that's the last exchange I've ever had with him. Oh, you're dead to him. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you bye bye? What do you mean bye bye? Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, Bobby. I have your back. Oh, you have my back? Yeah. There's more to life than wrestling. I know. Oh. Not in his eyes. I, I, I know. No, that's and that's world. why he's a winner, man. <laughs> <laughs> he produces champions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, he, you know who graduated from the school of woulda, coulda, shoulda with Ooh. honors? Bobby Lee. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Didn't Tom DeLong graduate from there too? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, but he didn't graduate from that school. He but he wasn't on the wrestling team. Yeah. The wrestling team was uh it's in a prestigious sporting event at our school. It's so nice, the new facility. The, the new facility Kalila. Kal- mm. The new facility is like a college like division one, yeah, like a real they're, they're facility. It's probably section. still like number one. In oh, they're like nationally ranked. Yeah, 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 it's crazy. They have a slammers program now for kids. <laughs> <laughs> they hooked us up. You guys, yeah, we went to. Yeah, we got these there because Steve was there. He let us have whatever Everything. we wanted. He's like, oh yeah, take whatever you want. <laughs> no, no, if we if we would have gone with you, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, you know what, Bobby, you should go back. Wait, hold up, stop, stop, stop. Wait, hold up. You go back. Yeah, but this is the thing. You forgot to mention. That he was mad because he was sl- slated to wrestle varsity his uh. senior. So that's important, you know? How is that? Of course I was going to var- varsity 105 pounder. Yeah, a senior. I know. He so wanted- would you rather me fucking do meth and drop the weight and go fucking wrestle my senior year? Or did you? would you rather me be, be sober, which, which I did? Fat and sober. Fat and sober, dude. That's Can I like. ask you this? Did that put Technically, you? the coach can't say that he wants one or the other, but we know which one he wanted. <laughs> very, yeah. He's very yeah. Hollywood of him. Yeah. Yeah. Can I give Bob his gift? Yeah, give it. Give oh, it I it. get one? Yeah. Okay. My bad. Open, oh, can you know. open it up? Yeah. No, I, I wanted to say this. No, 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 no. What, what, what? Go don't, ahead. Don't go tell ahead. me. Okay, Please I'm not going to say me. nothing. <laughs> so this is not a birthday thing? or this is no, nothing? no, no, no. Just open it up. Open it up. I will open it in a second, Okay. But is this gonna hurt me? No, no. It's not gonna rub anything. This is all out of love. respect, dude. All right. it's, respect. it's out of respect. It's not gonna be a shirt that says "Shoulda, Coulda, Woulda." No, 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 University. No, no, no. Please, oh, please open it. Ah, uh, Jeremiah oh. smiling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can get that <laughs> merch. That. Uh, the new merch at Tiger Belly. <laughs> 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 shoulda, Coulda, Woulda. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Why'd you get him an XXL? <laughs> <laughs> he literally wears medium. <laughs> He that's literally all, wears that's medium. That's all that they would give him because he thinks you're a fat piece of crap still. <laughs> oh, baby, come here. Give it to me. I want Bob, do you want to say a message to the coach? <laughs> yeah. Bob, give Brent a message right now, please. Give him a message. Dude, you gotta, <laughs> dude tell him your credits, man. We need to reconcile. <laughs> tell him your movie credits, no, man. You got to let the world know, man. Go ahead, man. Right. Go ahead. Man. Let Brent Stetter know. All right, man. All right. I'm okay. I'm kind of hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm kind of hurt. I think I can get through it. I, why are you so? It's why are you crazy. acting like that? Right? It's crazy. It's crazy, right? But can I? I'll be honest with you. Yeah. It does burn, <laughs> and I feel it. it. It burns in my heart. Damn. It's like a low burn <laughs> on the bottom half of my heart. Oh my god. And it's probably gonna linger there for a couple of weeks. It breaks me. Okay. No, don't put your fucking hand out yet. No, can I ahead, give you ahead. a saving grace? Can I give you a saving Please. grace? Okay, before we left, he said a lot of stuff about you. <laughs> you can see in the Scissor Bros episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But one of the things that I did yeah. before we left was yeah. I asked him, I said, hey, do you have any influence on the high school Hall of Fame? And he goes, I do know some people on the he board. He knows the board. So this is what I said. Oh this is what I said. Dude, no, just hear him As out. A fellow so, brother, shut the I fuck thought up. of this. Hey, come, come, wait, let, let, let me just get this straight, okay? You're gonna be on the. No, just, no, 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 no. Go ahead, no. go ahead, go ahead. You, you want to make me cry right now? No, no, no. Really? Yeah, because if you tell me that I'm gonna be on the board and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in the Hall of Fame, I will start to cry right the now. The Scissor Bros are gonna make that happen. Wow, you guys are gonna broker that deal? I he already, already emailed him. I already emailed him. I it's emailed gonna him happen. A beautiful email with your list of credits mm-hmm. and why you should be considered. Yeah. yeah. We're waiting on a response. Yeah, okay. this is real. <laughs> this is real, though. He says he has influence on the board. You two are so funny. Yeah. Wow. And, and you're going to be in the Hall of Fame of Poway. We're, we, okay. You know, I, here's where I'm not very. <laughs> Please help hopeful. me, babe. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Where, okay, why are you so not It's all positive news. Wait, Tom DeLong is not even on it. Well, forget Tom. It's, but. As we know with everything else, it's all who you know in that in that field. And he You're has right. he's a pillar of the community there. And I asked him, I was like, 
but is there any way like uh, he, okay yes that being said this is yes. the closest we've gotten i'm just saying dude, it's gonna I have happen my, it's I have gonna my, happen i have my response to coach branson okay with all the information okay 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 think about it think about please think about it i already just did no really think it he tells me to think about it all the time think it through before you do it now go Okay, hold on. Call him Kochi. No, I, <laughs> voice of reason. I'm yeah. A, like, hi, Kochi. No, no, I'm not going to call him Kochi, okay? <laughs> Come on, babe. All right. It's me, Bob. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Let me just, all right, all right. Dear Kochi, <laughs> it's me, Bob. Good. Mm -hmm. Hi. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry that in my senior year that I chose not to participate in the wrestling program. Um, I, I felt like I was focusing on my sobriety and who I am as a person and trying to figure out what this whole thing life is. But in retrospect, I do apologize. I also want to thank you for your influence, right? Because you're the first man I've, that I've seen Harry, Harry Knuckles. <laughs> he had Harry Knuckles. <laughs> no, honestly, I remember as a kid. You remember? I, yeah, yeah. I remember him like, you know, because I'd be like on the bottom, like during coach. Yeah. And he'll go, no, you got to grab the wrist like this. Right. So he'd put his hand on over the other guy's <laughs> wrist and I would see his hairy knuckles. And, and I would go, I remember thinking to myself, I go, I've never seen that before. That's cool. Right. So you're the, my first hairy knuckle experience. Right. Mm -hmm. You're also somebody I was scared of, but I looked up to. And I think that you're a true champion of all time. Okay. And I also want to say that if you can help me facilitate this Hall of Fame situation, right, that my gratitude will go so deep towards you and your family and to your bloodline, mm -hmm. right? We'll I, have a framed picture of you. And I would Hall. fight for your bloodline. Wow. Right? And um, is that good? So I, love. Keep going. I love it. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. So love, dearly love, right? Yes. Kochi. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Heart, heart. Right? Mm -hmm. And put in quotes. Mm -hmm. okay. Bobs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little Bobs. Little, Little Bobs. Bobs. Thank, you. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah. Now, I uh, want to say something to you. Yeah. What? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Because what you've done, okay, is you've created a little monster here. What? My brother. What are you talking what are you let, talking me, about? let me finish. Dude, what think, think about it. Really think about I'm, this. Oh, well, really? Think yeah. about it? Yeah. I'm going to give you a fucking compliment, you uh, fuck face. Okay, okay, okay. All right? Breathe. No, I'm not breathe. No. Just breathe. You got me all fucking rattled, I did, I did. rattled out. Got him an XXL. Oh, yeah, you got me an XXL? <laughs> what the fuck? He's a me. Ralph, oh my word, Ralphie May over all of a sudden? <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Continue. I love you. Okay. Continue. By the way, I just want to say, give little props. I did fucking Largo for the first time this week. Yes. How was it? What is Largo? Describe what that is to the viewers and listeners. We a lot of people. Oh, the viewers out. and listeners. They have the internet. And they no, can no, Google no, no, it. no, no. Describe it to the. <laughs> just describe it again. Okay. Describe it again. It's a big. It's a big deal. Let me bring it. Down oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick. Thank you, Jer. It's a big deal for. Bobby's considered a club comic, by a lot of people because he has done clubs for club. years. That's where he mainly. Performs so that's Laugh Factory Improv Comedy Store. Yeah, and just headlining around the nation doing. Is it Largo a club too? Largo is a theater, theater venue, and it's considered like the alt haven. Oh, alternative. <laughs> alternative. Listen, the word of the day, kids, is alternative. In the nineties, when I came to LA, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, Largo was around. It was for alt comics. All the cool people played there. <laughs> What's so fucking funny? Keep going. I love it. Do your thing. Do yeah, yeah. Your thing. <laughs> do, your, uh, do your thing. Dude. All right. So let me finish. Okay. <laughs> I was never invited to play it. Right. So then Mark Maron goes, hey, last week, can you open for me? Because my band's playing at Largo. And I said, yes. I went there. I performed for the very first time at Largo, which is a big thing for me. Got some groans. You know what I mean? Like the general response wasn't laughter. Was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was a sea of Italian. People <laughs> in the yeah, hey, <laughs> yeah, like that I kind don't of. I know about this. Yeah, yeah. Oh. that would tell a joke, right? And I'd go, you know, yeah, that's what my dad said. Oh, and I'd, I'd be like, oh, okay, could just do the next one. 
Oh. I do the next one. Eee! You know, people just like, you know. <laughs> but then afterwards, I get backstage in this kind of bigger, another hairy knuckled person. A hairy knuckle person came and gave me a hug. And that hairy knuckle person was Zach Afrinakis. Oh. And Zach watched my set. What? He goes, thank you for being I miss you. We hugged. I hugged him twice. And he smelled weird. What, what did he, he smell, smell like? like? No, he smelled like musky. Oh, I, I said musk. musk. Like musk. I said musk. Yeah, yeah. Musk Elon musk Yeah, Elon <laughs> musk <laughs> Yeah, musk Yeah, yeah. Okay. Musk is hot, babe. It, it is hot. And <laughs> I have to say this, too, is, is that here's a guy that I run into me once every three years, right? And I, I want to get emotional, right? Mm -hmm. I have to say one of the nicest guys I've ever met in this business. Really? Just a sweetheart. Anyway, I did it. So give me a round of applause. I did fucking Largo for the first time. Congrats, ever. man. Yeah. I have a favor to ask you guys. Brooklyn in for your skin. You guys, in. I'll tell you why, for your skin. For your soul. And your soul. And sl good sleep. And your bones. Yeah. Right? All your bones, your skin, what you need rest, mm -hmm. right? And you need to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. And Brooklyn has caused our house to be a comfort town. Yes, comfort is king, and tis a season for a royal coronation. Sleep like royalty on the softest sheets you will ever sleep on. Mm -hmm. Brooklyn was started to create beautiful, high quality home essentials that don't cost an arm and a leg. And people, what a success! Yes. <laughs> Brooklyn works directly with manufacturers to make luxury available directly to your to you without the luxury level markup. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Also, what I love, not just sheets, guys, absorbent towels, cozy robes. I love wow. this waffle robe they have there. I hate it when they don't absorb. I hate when, Correct. Yeah, yeah, right. when the water Correct. falls off. Right, right, right. And comfy loungewear you'll want to put on and never take off. Tell us more about it, Gil. So give yourself the comfort refresh you deserve and get it for less at Brooklyn and go to brooklinen.com and use the promo code TIGER to get $20 off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's B R O O K L I N E N.com and enter promo code TIGER for $20 off with a minimum purchase of $100. And this week, Brooklinen is excited to introduce Marlowe, the affordable and adjustable pillow that provides a perfect night's rest for. For every type of sleeper, visit MarlowPillow.com to learn more. Can you get me a Marlow? Roman. Roman. Can I tell you guys um, the favorite part of me and Bobby's routine? Yeah, please. Is when I get that packet of Roman. Roman I open swipes, it up, baby. And I pull out the swipes and I do this on a little mushroom tip. It goes squeaky, squeaky, squeak. Oh, like that's that. cool. My penis is not a mushroom. What is it? It is. <laughs> You're right. You guys, you know, um I want to stay hard sometimes in bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and you know, some Well, I you want to last longer. Yeah. You don't want to be a two-punch. I think chunk. of weird things when you <laughs> and then now all I do is it really does work. Obviously, all these things I try mm -hmm. and I love Roman wipes. Swipes. Swipes. And I rub it on my erect genitals, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and it stays hard for Kalila. Yes. And it really does work. It's discreet packaging mm -hmm. right it's um it doesn't when i it doesn't go on you if there's no transferring onto my yeah, lady bits yeah which is such a plus if you're worried about that the whole process is straightforward convenient and discreet getting started is simple just go to getroman.com slash belly and complete an online visit go to getroman.com slash belly now to speak to u.s licensed healthcare professional about erectile dysfunction and get 15 dollars off your first month of treatment go to getroman.com slash belly today and if you're prescribed get 15 dollars off your first month of ed treatment that's getroman.com slash Belly for fifteen dollars off your first month of ED treatment if prescribed. Make sure you're ready to have confidence and control this fall. Roman ready. I have a favor to ask you guys. So I found out of this new position, apparently, like none of us have ever done, but it's called Amazon sex position, and I want to know if you guys can demonstrate. I'll do it with my brother before I show you. I'll do it with Jeremiah. <laughs> Do you guys wow, you got well, this. Want you want to do it with me? That hurt me. Oh, that, <laughs> I'll do it with you. You want me to do it? That really hurt me. Oh. You keep saying <laughs> I, keep saying a brother a lot and looking yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. I threw it out there like I like. Did you hear what I said? Let's do it. No, this is what I said. <laughs> what? Let's do it. Just, let me hear. It. Let me okay, just okay, tell you, okay. right? I'll do it with my brother, like that kind of right. And you go, no, I'll do it, with Jeremiah. This is you know what? Here he is. That goes. You hurt me, and and you hurt him. Yeah. How did I hurt you? Because you said you'd rather do it with your brother. Oh, for comedy purposes. And not only that, you didn't finish my compliment. What was the compliment? Exactly. 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> What's the world come to, the man? Co- Holy <laughs> moly, the guacamole. Co- the right. Oh, away. You're right. hello. Oh, right. Away. Right, Forget right. about it. Let's go to no, the Amazon. No, le- look, look, look. No. Oh, how about this? I will no, give no, you the, no, no, Steve, no. you and I will do that position, and I will do the compliment while, not, while I'm in the position. Okay. okay. All right? Okay. All right. So you so gotta put your I'm going to be on the bottom. Oh, I see what's happening. I got to be on the bottom. All right. I got to be on the bottom. You got to be on top, but his legs have to be up. All right, so are Kalia and I next, or? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're the right proportions. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Steve, put your knees under his knees. And Bobby, now put your knees in the ground. Put your knees on, put your knees on the ground. Put your knees on the ground. Put your knees on the ground. <laughs> Knees on the ground. Steve, put your knees on the ground. Now go back and forth. Now go back and forth. Go back and forth. There. Put your knees on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jeremiah. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay. Here, here, right, here, here. Fine, okay? Look at my eyes, okay? <laughs> I want to say it. Don't yeah. laugh, don't laugh. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Yeah. You're killing the game in the podcast world. Oh, yeah. And you're like, you're finding your own voice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uh, dude, so excited about your life, okay? Yeah. Okay. okay. Get off now. Okay. All right. Oh, dude. Oh, oh my God. God. Holy shit, that was fun. Steve, was that comfortable or painful? Oh. Well, well, I'm sore because me and Jeremiah did a, a mechanical bull riding challenge. Can you talk a little bit about? Wait, Bobby says he's the best at that. He said he's number one. Dude, have you done really? it? Jeremiah, tell tell him what we did. So we're I didn't you know there's a downtown Sandy. I, I haven't been there. We we used to hang out just in Escondido. Yeah. But we he had a show in uh, downtown San Diego. Yeah. But then there's bars and stuff. Yes. He found I, like a mechanical right next bull. To the, right next to the comedy club. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. They're, they're yeah. comedy company, company, right? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The gas but, lamp district. Yeah, yeah something yeah. like that. But we found a mechanical bull. Yeah. Dude, he whooped my ass. We did. Yeah, yeah we yeah. did. Uh, it's it's, it's pretty hard. hard. It's pretty. Uh, yeah, I'm from Kansas. Yeah. I've never done that before. But. <laughs> no, but the challenge was you can use one arm. I guess it's in my blood, arm, apparently. Like, you know, like this. But I was like, kids, it's barbecue. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole yeah. thing. Wait, so it's one arm. One arm. But I used two because I was instinctually, I'm like, oh, you know. Yeah. It was a scene. It was a whole scene. How long the... did you last? Uh, that's good. Huh? Not that much. Not that long. Under 30 seconds? Because, like, time? you seem like you're going longer, but it's not that much time because it's so hard because, you know. The way it bucks you. The way it like bucks that. you, yeah. You're surprisingly so coordinated. I've seen he you is. slap box. He is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think that you missed your calling of actually being a boxer. I got reach. You, more than that. He would have been a good wrestler You're as like well. quick. Yeah. And quick. so coordinated. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know you know who you are, man? When you get older, you're going to be like James Cromwell. Who's that? I don't know that. The actor? Is that his name? Let's <laughs> bring that up. James Cromwell? Mm. Look it up. Yeah, there's something about you that's like... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, look it up. Put it on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know who James Cromwell is? He's an actor, isn't he? Yeah. The guy from Babe? Yeah. Yeah, it's the, it's the Babe. Oh, dude, that's a compliment, <laughs> that's, man. That's a compliment, man. That's a compliment. Okay. He's a great actor. He's also in Secession. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. But um, when you get older, dude, yeah. you, you know that look that you have right now? Yeah. That wholesome wife? He's a handsome man right there. Not only handsome. No, no, I don't say handsome, but... No, he's a handsome man. Come on. Yeah, he, give it, like give it in up. the Civil War, he would have been. Oh, you're yeah. historical he, handsome. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, no, you are. That's a compliment. Historical that's a, you're, Dude, that's handsome. a compliment, dude. That's a compliment. Dude, you're hey, historical Jeremiah, handsome. Not in this time period? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like a different time period. Yeah, yeah. You would be considered uh, a catch. Do you think that my brother and I in any time period in Korea, <laughs> we would have been handsome? No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> At least you have a time period. Yeah. Right? I gave you a time period. You, you look like a Pokemon that fell asleep at Warp Tour. <laughs> oh, I miss Warp Tour. <laughs> it was a joke. I know it is. I'm just trying it to get. I, I, no, I, it was a good. I'm trying to understand yeah, okay. it. So you're saying that if I was a Pokemon, uh-huh. okay, <laughs> uh-huh. and I happened to be like a BMX bike, like extreme sports guy, yeah, yeah, right, that I would be on tour with the, right? Who do you think Warp Tour is? 
Is it warped toward the sk- skateboarding and the mm-hmm. bicycles? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Right? No, those, it's that's it's like mu- X Games. This is a musical it's festival, right? It's a oh, warp is music? Yeah. It's like yeah. pop punk and, and yeah. rock. Yeah. And My bad. Let's start over then. Okay. So what you're saying to me, right, like, is that I'm a Pokemon. I, I'm sorry, babe. I always thought that warp tour had to do with extreme sports as well. No, but no. skateboarding, BMX. No. 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 It's a music festival. Music festival. Yeah. Oh, but I, okay. I don't know. See, then we, we're on the same. Yeah. yeah okay. Thank you. Can we go back? Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. So what you're By the way, this joke would have crushed at Largo. <laughs> <laughs> it would have got a grown it. Right. Maybe. Yeah. Um, okay, thank you for that compliment. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to get into it. Okay, perfect. Okay, what's that? I just got napkin. Okay. Yeah. So I want to ask you, why won't you watch Dune? Because <gasps> I'm so attached to the original Dune, uh, the David Lynch one. Did you love that one? Oh, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. And you uh, loved it? The reason being is because the way he captured that world is it, there's there's grit and dirt, you know, like the Harkonnen planet. Like yeah. mm-hmm. Sting was in it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it was just, it was gritty, and I, I just, I love that movie. But did you watch the documentary, the Jodorowsky's Dune? No. Mm. Yeah. So well, you're saying this new one's like Star Wars? Okay, just stop for a second, all right. okay? First of all, there's a documentary called Jodorowsky's Dune Mm -hmm. that I highly recommend you watch. The OG one? No, it's not about that. It's about a guy who had his own vision of Dune. What did did Jodorowsky do also? He did another movie that was weird. What? Magic Mountain. Yeah. Magic Mountain, yeah. So this weird guy, right, back in the 70s, wanted a Dune. He almost got it made. Mm -hmm. And it it shows how it never happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? It was as if um, someone didn't believe in George Lucas and Star Wars. Yeah. Like, it was as if someone so did that's, take a So that's on the him. documentary. It's called, and it's about the movie Dune, about before David Lynch did his, right. this dude tried to pull it off. He was too off. ahead of his time. He was too ahead of his mm-hmm. time. People couldn't understand what he was trying to make. Okay. So yeah. the guy that directed the new Dune is the guy that did Arrival. So good. Yes. You know, I kind of like Arrival. Guy. And did you oh, see so good. Yeah. The, the second Blade Runner? Yes, same guy. The yeah. new Blade Runner. 2049. Yeah. He did that too. So it's going to look clean. and It's going to be good. And the music's probably going to be right. The music's going to be good. And I've heard, read some fucking um, reviews on it, and they said that it's a la, it's an epic, and that it might be kind of like Star Wars. Wow. Well, let me play devil's advocate. They're redoing Lost Boys, right? Yeah. Oh, are you are? gonna watch the new Lost Boys Ooh. if they do if, that? If the reviews are good, because yeah. the original is the best. It can be better than the original. Yeah. Do you Things agree? Things can be better. Do you agree? It's hard to Jeremiah, go step against in. nostalgia. What yeah, is I don't know. It's, yeah, it's amazing so because you, it's like a slice of. Of time, yeah. like, is it going to be set in the '80s again, or is it going to be an updated Lost Boys? Is is there going to be an epic sax guy in it? Ooh, yeah, that was amazing. You know, listen, okay, when you see the trailer of the new Ghostbusters, what they're Looks redoing good. that? How many they times did. are they going to remake that movie? There's a new one. There's a new one. Oh God, go All ahead. Right. Ask Andrew Santino. You can't beat out Bill Murray, dude. Stop for a second. All right, Dan Aykroyd's in this movie. He is. <laughs> Well, that's a. I think that's a. Yeah, so. But is Bill Murray? I don't know. Probably not. But then who cares? Yeah. Okay. But when you, just let me finish. <laughs> when you look at the trailer, you could you'll feel some of the magic of the old movie. Because mm-hmm. when I saw the trailer, I didn't know they had made a new one. I was in the movie theater. I was watching James Bond. Right. What'd you think? Loved it. <clears throat> didn't you? Yeah. Epic. Right. And I was sitting in the theater with my my little Chinese friend. Mm-hmm. Cool. Gene. He's Korean. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Jesus. And we saw the fucking trailer for Ghostbusters. Him and I both looked at each other. We had tears in our eyes, and we did we did this in the theater. We had ch- chills. chills. It was shivers. The shivers, dude. Wow. That's how good the fucking trailer was. Wow. Ooh. Well, we shouldn't discount it then. Um. Yeah, I'll check it out. What my point is is that they can still. Depending on who it is, they can still take an old IP. Is that what they call it? Intellectual property. Intellectual property. Thank you. You're welcome. And still <laughs> make something good and creative. Okay. Right, but okay. aren't there certain movies they c- you cannot re- like they can never remake The Exorcist. They, they have. They have. So they have. There's like, so many different a bunch. versions. <laughs> There's like twelve hacky different versions. versions yeah. of that. Oh, you- speaking of The Exorcist, we went to visit <laughs> Jen- Jenny. <laughs> G- t- tell him the story. Our cousin Jenny. Oh yeah. I oh. Get- 
Yeah, our cousin. You know, we went to Thanksgiving. Yeah. I met your cousin. I love her. Yeah, She's yeah. We amazing. went there. We went She's there. She's the best. What happened? I well, love. I, I love that whole side of your family. There's something I forgot as a child. Go ahead. Do, do the. Kid. She said the King Kong and then the. Edges. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. W- well, so we were talking about how Steve is the sweeter Lee brother, and did Jenny? Hmm. And Jenny agreed. Well, she said it. <laughs> do you have her phone number? <laughs> that's, 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 that's. We're, we're, wait, wait, wait. My cousin Jenny out loud said that my brother Steve is sweeter than me. Well, she remembers a memory at Korea House. Tell him. <laughs> Remember Korea House in Claremont? Yeah, of course you, I rem- do. You, you tell him. Yeah. So I guess it was Steve's <laughs> this- birthday. Okay. And she says she has this <sighs> memory seared into her brain for whatever reason. Steve's birthday, and Steve keeps going to, to, to Bobby. And, He's being real mean to him for no reason. I'm being mean to my brother. On his birthday. Mm. And, and, and Steve keeps being like, Bob, it's my birthday. Can you not be so mean to me? Oh, man. And this is Bob's response. I don't care if it's King Kong's birthday. <laughs> Got him with that reference. Got him with that reference. <laughs> King Kong's may, birthday. May I just add on to you? <laughs> Okay. I, 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 I need to add on to this. Where did that come from? Okay. I need to add on to this. Yeah. And I know this is true. Woo. Woo. The burn. I know this Woo. is true, Steve. I'm going to back you up. Yeah. Because if my birthday is coming up. And I said, babe, my birthday is coming up. You're not going to be here? And guess what he said? I don't care if it's King Kong's birthday. <laughs> 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 Is that, a, is that an evergreen? It's evergreen. Wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> that is evergreen. Woo! Right, I, I, woo! Hello! Woo! Let me woo! See. Okay, oh hold up a second. Dude, oh. it's been ingrained. Hold up a second! King Kong's been in your mind <laughs> your Why, a long time. Okay. What is it about King Kong? All right. All right. Wow. I've only said that twice in my life. More, I bet. No. Wow, thanks, Kalala. Twice in my life. Wow. I said it back then in Korea House, and I just said it three That's days ridiculous. ago. That's ridiculous. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> That I said King Kong, and I it doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't that's at all. Them. I don't care if it's that's King crazy. Kong's birthday. Yeah. Even if King Kong was real, right? I don't think uh, I would care. Uh, what would you give King Kong? Yeah, what do you, a but big why one? King Kong? Like, did you, when you were younger, did you watch a lot of King Kong? I don't remember. You might have watched Godzilla as a oh, kid, and then King Kong. That's what. And it then is. he liked Godzilla, King Kong more yeah. than Godzilla. I love Donkey Kong, maybe. Donkey Kong. Oh. Yeah, Donkey yeah, Kong. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I said. So Jenny uh, said, "Yeah, that Jenny, I she said, remembers." She remembers. Right, right. I don't care if, if, if it's, it's King. King. Let me see if this is real. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. See, right, right. Yeah. Say, say it. Uh, Bob, it's my birthday. Why are you being so mean to me? I don't care if it's King Kong's birthday. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> does it hurt? A little bit. Yeah, it hurts still, huh? It, it does work. It, 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 it did it took a different work. tone with me, though. Oh, I did, what did I say? Yours. You were like, bitch, I don't care if it's King Kong's birthday. Oh. oh. Or, 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 or sassy. Yeah, that's or sassy. sassy. That's a different. I mean, different. more like yeah. 2000. And I, and I, I laugh. More mature. Yeah. More mature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You added the bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's You've come a long way. Said. Jenny said that. Yeah, and so she said that you're sweeter. Mm-hmm. Right. Also, she mentioned oh something God. we did when she was like younger as far as she said, like when she was a kid, she was like, I can't believe you guys made me. You took watch Exorcist. Like I guess you forced her. I guess all when, of us, like the, the was, older cousins, when she was like, six years when old. When she was six, we made her go to see the Exorcist. That's what my family did to me, it's and insane. I'm still afraid of the Exorcist today. I can't spend yeah. the night alone in the house. We did that with my sister in the movie. Yeah, it, that's insane. We told her that it was a clown comedy. See, it's fucked up. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. And what she said? What she? She hates clowns to this day. Oh yeah. Yeah. But did she like Exorcist? <laughs> 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 she she likes scary movies to a point now, but she still has a thing with clowns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw um, a movie called VHS ninety four. I know we said it last time. Yeah, I just been thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Is it good? Please watch it. It's still good. It's a horror movie. Okay. Sometimes. So you, will you watch Dune tonight? Yeah, I will. What do you want me to watch? You tell me to watch something new every time I talk to you. Dude, do you watch this? You I have told to you watch. only good. But shit. It hurts my feelings because when I recommend something to you, you dismiss it. Have, have you watched. seen Vivarium yet? I didn't. You didn't no. tell me about that. You told me to watch The Call, and I did. You like I, it? Yeah, I loved it. Vivarium? I will. See? No, I will. I just said I will. What do you mean, will? see? You will? Well, you know, 
Oh, no, 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 no. I I'll, like, I'll, but I'll, the thing is, I like Secession. Can I say this? I like Secession. Yeah, I really do. I yeah. really do. You really do? I love the power dynamics. It's yeah. kind of like everyone's plotting it, stuff, maybe, you know? Maybe you shouldn't have done the Red Planet thing. Oh, yeah, I messed What's up. What's the Red I'm, Planet thing? My brother made a trick. I think we talked about it before. Yeah, we've talked about we it. Worked, we, lived in, we were living in Silver Lake. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was super sick one day. Like, I had the cold. And my brother, I come home, and my brother goes, I saw a great movie, Bob. <laughs> and I go, really? I'm really sick right now. Oh, you should watch it, man. It'll change you. Right? What's it called? He goes, Red Planet. So I, I'm watching Red Planet an hour in. And I remember being in the, com like, there's blankets. And no, you're, pillow. yeah, you're right. sitting so like, like this, this like this. Sitting. Yeah, yeah, I remember it, right? Yeah. Dude. And I remember thinking, <laughs> I remember thinking, this is the worst movie I've ever seen. I was laughing so right. hard. I was, and I turned around, my brother I was dying. is in tears. Because right? I tricked him. He I'm tricked like, me. Oh, right, and he goes, it sucks, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, you know what? I'm never oh, going to trust yeah. you again. Oh, that really... Yeah, I still think of it. So when you bring up oh Alluvium and all these other you're things. Right. You're right. What's it called? Vivarium. 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 It's not that great. It's Jeremiah! Yeah, it's, I, 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 I had a Dude. feeling that it wasn't. It's not that great. I know. You'd Ooh. like it, though. If you like science fiction, you'll like it. I love it's science like fiction. It's like Twilight Zone. It's it really, like Twilight so Zone. I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. Thank you. And that's why I haven't fucking seen it. <laughs> I and that's what don't touch him. Can I can I say that in my household that the what you refer me to held a high acclaim because you haven't missed once. He turned me on to Game of Thrones. Mm. He, he threw he threw cash yeah, at me dude. when when we I used remember, to go on the road and years I ago. Those days, and, and he goes he goes he goes here's eighty bucks. Start downloading it from iTunes tonight. Start watching oh, bro. it, bro. Yeah. Bro, he paid my old roommate five hundred dollars to watch the whole series. Wow, you got jipped. dude. Your mom, I did. I, mom, I totally got jipped. Your mom watched it too. I remember, yeah. like, she would at your you, old spot, I'd be the in the breakdown. living room, and she she's like, Steve, did you watch? You know, I'm like, the red but my, we, yeah, yeah. She, we would talk about it. Yeah. My wife yeah. will ask though. She's like, does Bobby have any more recommendations for documentaries? Kind of the like session. That. Okay, yeah. we'll watch the session. Great. It's so good. Yeah. Okay, let me. I've done good things with my money as well. A lot of good things. We're One time about. I was at the comedy store and there was a fat guy upstairs. And he was upstairs, he was an open <laughs> micer, and he was wolfing down fried chicken. Okay? And every time I saw, saw this guy, he was eating something fried. And he was getting bigger and bigger. And I go, How much was that fried chicken? He goes, I don't know, 40 bucks. I go, Here's 100. Go buy some vegetables. You're not eating the shit anymore. So that's pretty good. <laughs> so, Where is he today? Who was it? He Can died. I say, he I, died. I, oh. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I have that exact story. I have that exact story. But I was eating on these producer shows that they used to have up in the belly room. They would bring these hostess snacks and all this garbage food for all the comics to snack on before they went on stage. But me and other poor comics would go up there who weren't even on the lineup and we'd steal the food and eat it. Mm. Bob walks up one night and he's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, uh, "This is my dinner." He goes, "What?" <laughs> really? <laughs> keep going, keep going. Keep going. He goes, You're eat "You can't be eating that." I'm like, I, I, "I'm like, I don't have any money." He goes, "Go get yourself some real food. Give me cash." I you did that. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Give me a hug. Thank you. Can, can right. I Amazon position go? Can I get in on this? Give him a hug. Yeah. <laughs> She's good. Her. Don't touch She's her. She's good. She's fine. Look, dude, bro, 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 <laughs> but I, I do have to say about Scissor Brothers, and it's like, um, think about it before you say it. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> continue. Have I said anything here, here, continue. negative? Continue. No, no, no. no. Continue. Right, right. There. Are, oh, what's that? Is that red. red that's red. Oh, Val okay. Kilmer's. Yeah, Val Kilmer. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta be good. Kilmer. Tom Sizemore. And um, uh, um, what's her the, name? From the Matrix. I forgot her name. Yeah. Back to the Scissor Bros talk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Scissor Bros. I like what you're doing. Um, um, Tiger Belly. Tiger Belly. Tiger Belly. Tiger Belly. So um, I, I have to say, I'm so proud of my brother. What about Jeremiah? No, I've always been proud of... Okay. Let him let him talk. Let okay, him talk. Okay, let him okay, talk. Okay, continue, 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 continue. I'm proud that you guys did this fucking Scissor Brothers because I watch clips on, on, on the internet. And social media, and I genuinely laugh at the shit that I watch. Right? I've had industry people come up to me and go, 
your brother's funny, you know, and it makes me so proud because I've always known that Steve has been hilarious. He, him and I, I don't know if you know this, but when my brother and I laugh together in a movie or we're in our car or we pull some sort of prank, Steve, look at me. We we laugh hard. Oh, yeah. And we cry hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We love crying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For, for so sure. I'm just saying when I watch my brother fly and and do his thing and you help that, right? Oh, dude, he's the best. This you guys guy are is a the perfect best. combination. And I want to tell everyone listening right now, please support the Scissor Brothers. They're growing. And when they go on the road, you guys did a fucking fin- festival. Guys We're going to be in Missouri right? on November 13th. Tell me what happened to the festival. We yeah. had fun. Moon Tower, we sold out the room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah wow. we, we had a we, lot of fun. 100 seats. Yeah, but it was, I mean, yeah. for us, we're in a... Hey, don't we're, downplay we're, it, man. I know, you man. Know, I, I, don't, please don't downplay it, please. It's under seats. I know. I look, Don't do that. Don't do that. Please City, don't do that. I mean, it's like, don't, you know... Just don't do that. Say the King Kong thing. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But we, I don't you know, care if King Kong had a yeah. 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 But it was fun, yeah. I'm not seeing that show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so you sold it out. Yeah. yeah. And when you guys came out, were they like, yeah. They, yeah, everybody was doing scissors. Yeah. Oh, they did the scissors? Yeah. Right. And then... um. Afterwards, what do you guys do? You guys hang out. We he, did. A- dude, he did like five. He had, he did like five different performances. He was emceeing, doing stand. He did. He was doing the music thing at the uh, the the outro show. He was a part of the dude. He did like five to seven different things that whole. Yeah, time. it was crazy. Yeah. we did like a meet and greet after the show it was though. And, and Steve, do you know the my favorite part is because we'd never been on. That was like our first like festival show on the mm-hmm. road. Is Steve did the meet and greet before the show. <laughs> So there was a line outside, and he walked up to everybody in the line. He goes, "Thank you so much for coming." Very mayoral. Dude, please, dude. Mayoral. Thank you so much. <laughs> dude, what are you doing? I'm looking for dude, Steve do for half an hour. I can't find him anywhere. And then he comes. He comes, and uh, uh, he's sitting on the front the of the stage. Grossest thing I've ever. Heard. He's he's sitting on the front of the stage while people are coming in. I go, Steve, where are you been? He goes, I just do the main greet. I go, we do that after. He goes. Yeah, yeah. I want to thank people for coming. I know. I go. All right. Well, there's no wrong answer. So there you go. Do you? Do you? It was great. It was great, man. No, no. Build your self esteem. (laughs) Okay. This dude is out there. Like, (laughs) this is what he did. He shows up. Right. He's like, (laughs) I'm so sorry. I'm gonna get my fishing rod, and I'm gonna go fish for compliments. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so he's, he's out there, right? And thankful. He, George, edit this out. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. <laughs> or, 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 Holy <laughs> shit. I think that you're it's don't get going angry. down here. <laughs> don't get angry. Don't get angry. Don't time stamp. Yeah, don't get angry. Don't time spit. No, 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 it's fine. It's, or, it's fine. Hey, right. I'm trying to learn. Yeah, you guys are on stage every, you know. I I'm understand. Just trying to learn. Feels... I appreciate it. All right. I appreciate it. That's all. But can we just do this, though, from yeah. now on? Right? Yeah. Wait afterwards and also create some mystery, right? Because it's like that's what I told him backstage. I was, like, I was, we usually I was do hitting it myself in the head. I'm like, oh, I messed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So you got excited. It's all good. But so basically, what... you went through the line and said to individual people, <laughs> every single one. Let me just imagine. Every single. Hey, one. thanks for coming to the show and supporting us. I bet you said this. Do you like it? <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> do, 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 no, just said, do you like it? What, what do you mean? We're like, around, the podcast. Don't fuck around, you listen, right? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. Don't fuck around. Anyway, dude. thanks for coming. <laughs> 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 hey, thanks for coming again, right? Hey, but, around, but the next guy. I swear to God. But, 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 real, but real quick. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fuck, what, strike you, dude. What do you like about it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. He probably says stuff like this, too. Yeah, we're improving and we're going to get better. <laughs> <laughs> right? Just amateur shit, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, wait afterwards, okay? You know what we're going to do? Yeah, yeah. We talked about this on the drive over. Can I can I mention this, Steve? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. The last time he was on stage was at the Tempe Improv, mm-hmm. and I'm headlining a weekend there next month, Yeah. and he asked me to do a guest spot. I have to. You have to. Right, full I circle. I have to. Full, full circle. circle. Closure. But I, I have to. Do like... you think they have the same management? I don't. I have to do it for me. Cause it's like state, you know. I choked. That's it's like I have another. Oh, I get to go to the tournament again. I have to. Oh, also, he, what, wait, 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 just real quick before you say that. A couple of days ago, he calls me, my brother, right? What? Do, 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 do. No, nothing. Uh, no, 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 just uh, listen. No, no, no. Really. I'm not. Just let me. We'll edit it out if you don't like it. Yeah. He goes. <laughs> Looks like somebody is gonna be doing some live stage performances. Oh. 
Back up, back up. Back up. I have to talk. Back up. Yeah, just go back at your mic. I have to talk. And I go. Okay, okay. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. I won't. I won't. I won't. Did it happen? You know what, guys? I'm working. I'm writing new material. I'm trying to write. I believe in you. We believe it. I believe it. Sit back, though, because this is a show. Steve. This is a show, though. Yeah, back up. Back up. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything. <laughs> Everything's fine. You okay? Uh, you all right, man? Yeah, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I regret, you know, I it was, and it I, was and really I, naive. What I did I say? That I might be doing stand, you know. I haven't done any stand up, but I, let me write first. He, I know what he's about to say. Let me write first because I don't want to just go. Because, dude, Jeremiah, I could have, I wanted to ask you, like, at the Vegas show. You know, because that one uh, comedian didn't show up. But what did you say? You're like, I want you to feel comfortable. I don't want to push you out there. Yeah. And that's all it is. Yeah, let me write. Number one. And the thing is, I will listen to you guys because back then I didn't listen to anyone. Like, because I want you guys, if I, you know, if you could help me with some, like, if I say, hey, what do you think this is funny? Because, uh, you you know, you guys do it as a professional. Before I would go, hey, why don't you write jokes? He goes, no, they like the cowboy rap. (laughs) Stop. Steve, we're back up, back up. We're, we're not going to relive that. that. Just, just, anyway, you're, what, you're I, different. You're a changed man. Right. Steve. And yeah. I want to say this. <laughs> I want to say breathe, this. Breathe. Let me finish what I want to say. He's hyperventilating right now. I want to say that number one, when you were doing stand up before, I was going. This is the this is the road for him. Number two, I was bummed when you quit. N- number three, I honestly believe, dude. Listen, dude. Look at what, what I'm doing. You love this, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go. Yeah. What's that? Oh, right. He just—I don't know. He—he does this. At, he, he did this at Jonah Hill once, and <laughs> Illuminati. And, yeah, he did this at Jonah Hill once, and yeah. I was like, I made a maybe, fool out of myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where are we? Where I are you bowed to Jonah Hill at Milk on a yeah, yeah. on Beverly. Yeah, what did he out say? To him? What'd he say? Yeah, what did like he the say? Illuminati. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. We've told that story before, right? Yeah, we've told yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah my point is, is this: yeah. is when you called me the other day and you said that you might yeah, be doing yeah, live performances, I was yeah, so yeah, yeah. excited for okay. you. I might, and I, th- I, might. I honestly believe I've been writing. there's a future there, right? And if you need any help... I want to do it just for fun, you know? If you I need any help, I'm here for you. If not, it's fine. Okay. Go on your own adventure. But if you need help, I'm there. And I'd love for you to do, even do some of my shows. Dude. Good. Okay. Kalila, do you want to bow? Or <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything good? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they keep doing, you yeah. know. BetterHelp. Oh. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Check out betterhelp.com slash belly for 10% off your first month. Now, Kalila and I and the gang have talked about BetterHelp over the years, right? A couple mm-hmm. years. We but... have our fair share of um, yeah. mental health woes. And, and there's no shame in that. There's no shame. And we um, have used this service. We 100% stand by it. It's online therapy, right? This is um, so good for your heart. Yes. And I don't think there's anything more important yeah. than your mental well-being. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. Honestly, some days I really don't want to. Mm. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. Unload the stressors and get some unbiased feedback. You'd be pretty surprised at what you might gain from it and see if it's for you. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Tiger Belly listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash belly that's b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p dot com slash belly for 10 percent off your first month i have we have to read all of that liquid death Death. mountain water is there a cooler looking water out there than this no you're you're right and also you know this is better for the environment Mm -hmm. right i love the way it's packaged right you when you drink this water it's so fresh. These aluminum tall boys are infinitely recyclable. Yeah. So they're bringing death to plastic bottles, you guys. We, That's right. Death to plastic. We love this. Yeah. Oh, I love that sound. Gold. There's something oddly 
more satisfying about drinking water from an aluminum <clears throat> can. Yeah, it does. Might I say. When this can is going, you take a drink, it quenches every layer of thirst. Oh, absolutely. Good Death also donates 10% of profits to help kill plastic pollution forever. Yeah. You'll see these cans popping up everywhere. Liquid Death is available at your local Whole Foods or 7-Eleven. But you know that's not all. Now you can rock Liquid Death merch. That crazy logo you know and love is now available on sweatshirts, hats, even license plate holders. And you don't have to pay for shipping. Go to liquiddeath.com slash belly to get free shipping on all water and merch that's liquiddeath.com slash belly to get free shipping on all water and merch grab some now at whole foods or 7-eleven now and totally murder your thirst how's the baby good he's 23 pounds uh Damn. is that good babe? he's is that good babe? yeah i think that's more than he's more than that's, a, that's a big baby he's huge really huge. dude yeah. he's like he's a little what? Big pictures huge. He's a big, big. No, I look at the no, I look at the photos. Yeah, I love the photos. Yeah, he's in he's in um, eighteen month clothing right now. Yeah. Oh Have you God. met the baby? Oh yeah. He's held, he's held my baby. I've held him. You've held the baby. <laughs> yeah. The baby wow. Cried. And what the do you say? The baby was crying. Oh yeah. He, oh what, really? He, sen- he sensed Steve's nervous energy because yeah. Steve's like, I don't know. About this. <laughs> Maybe the baby saw some of his gums. I was like, that's a purple I haven't seen. <laughs> you know what? I was just at my dentist the other day. <laughs> Sorry, I, was, I just don't get angry. Don't get angry. I was at our dentist the other day. Yeah. The gums part. The gums part. Yes, babe. Back to we Kalilah. all go to the same dentist. We go to, they the, same go to the dentist. I sent them to my dentist. Yeah. But shout out. Dentist. you know how we are with the dental people. But shout out to Dr. Jack Toons. Yeah. But he's like, where's Bobby? I was like, last time, last time he was in here, and then he just kind of let the sentence go. Oh, what? And I can what? imagine what he saw in there was probably not very good. So you can't shit on your brother's gums when your shit is. Wait, wait, right. the, wait, 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 hold up. No, is his teeth messed up? Because he can't chew on one side, on both sides now. Well, he said that you needed like. I do. I need work. I need work, right? But the pain went away, and so in three weeks when I come back from because I'm going out of town. Yeah. I'm gonna take care of my dental stuff, right? When the, the new dentist did see my teeth, a couple of months ago, his first, <laughs> his first. Sentence was what Keanu Reeves would say, which is, "Whoa!" Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if that's a good thing, <laughs> right? But he opened my mouth and he went. He leaned back a little. He goes, "Whoa!" I like that one. And I go, "What? Do I have cancer?" He's like, "No, no, that's not it. <laughs> we we can work with it." <laughs> I go, I-, "I hope you can. If it's not, that's it's funny, good, right?" So it's like, I am going to do the work when I get back, right? So he did mention me? Yeah, he's been my dentist for 15 he's years. He's a great guy. Wow. Great guy. I love so. that guy. Yeah. Highly recommend you, Dr. You, Jack Toonsey. You go, you, I can tell Lally, you go every, are, like, Matt, on routine. I have never Lally, had a cavity teeth? in my life. Same here. Wow. Really? Yep. Yeah. I brush Lally, your floss teeth are multiple immaculate. times a like, week. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. How, I mean you too? Yeah, I've never had a cavity. I'll say his name again, yeah. Dr. Jack Toonsey. How many cavities have you had a cavity in my life. Dude. How many? You don't even know what's going on. I mean, I got all kinds of. It's like yeah, me too. I, I, I could probably. I'm beat trying you to it. make a challenge yeah. just so I can get him to the dentist. <laughs> oh yeah, you trying to get <laughs> me to go to the dentist. I, I'm, I'm trying to do a dentist challenge where we go get our teeth cleaned as literally a challenge as part of the show, so he'll go with me. I wish you would. Well, you don't. Your teeth aren't nothing to brag about either. I'm not attacking <laughs> you. I'm not attacking you, dude. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm not attacking say, you. Dude, I mean, I'm just saying. I you, wish you would. Can you chew? Can you chew? Uh, I'm gonna say this though. He has to chew the steak with his front teeth like this. Hey, Dude, that's I, crazy. Yeah. It's not crazy. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll throw you a bone about Brandstetter. I think he thought Steve and I were a gay couple. <laughs> oh, really? Did he really? That's hilarious. He did? I think. <laughs> what do you mean? You didn't read that? Because here, here, I'll tell you a couple oh, signs. Oh no. <laughs> That's why he was so nice to you. He didn't know what to do. Holy moly. He's like, I don't want, I don't want hate crime on my hands. Wait a minute. How come you never brought this up? Oh, because he asked, hey, are you married? So so he did. There's a couple signs. Yeah. I'm from Kansas. I didn't have many girlfriends in high school. Yeah. I've been through the ringer with this with family and stuff like that. Like little, like little hints and stuff like that. First thing was how he shook my hand. Yeah. <laughs> he shook my hand so hard to see how firm my grip was going to be. Right. And it was a it was a Kansas grip, so he's like, all right, so he passed that test. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, this is interesting. And <laughs> then he's he's kind of sizing us up like how we're talking to each other, like as he's giving us a tour and we're in his home and stuff like that. And then at the end, <laughs> end of the, the tour he goes, you know, he's oh so uh your brother became a comedian or something, right? 
And, uh, and they're like, yeah, yeah, well, you know, we we, we got to go. And he, he goes, so, uh, Steve, uh, you married or right. y- you have a you have a girlfriend or anything? And Steve's <laughs> and like, brother goes, and Steve goes, I got to go. So, uh, oh, <laughs> you didn't see how that, that No, didn't I, I say can... I'm dating? Yeah, I'm, but that's not, you got to be more specific. He thinks I'm gay. Yeah. Well, that's okay. You should well, say something okay. like, yeah, man, no, I'm knee yeah. deep that's in okay, pussy. Right? <laughs> Yeah, no, just, that's I'm, the gayest thing to say. Yeah, that is oh, kinda, oh, it is? Yeah. That is kind of gay. Oh, you have no idea. I'm knee deep in that <laughs> pussy. <laughs> oh, really? That's not what you say. When dudes say stuff like that yeah. like and start bragging about how much put, it's they're getting dick. They're over- all right, all right, let me see what I can say. Let me they're see. They're Let's yeah. throw one out, all right? So I'm Coach Brown Center, right? So, Steve, you, you dating anybody? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Wait, wait, wait. Best believe you, it. You're lying. Yes, you're sir. lying though. Yes, sir. You're lying though. Ask me again. Okay. All right. Don't lie, okay. but try to make it Eye like. Contact. Right. So, Steve, you you dating anybody? Yes, coach. Who? Women. <laughs> okay. That's, oh, that's real convincing. Kind of gay. Real convincing. <laughs> Women. You know. Yeah. They have vaginas. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you should say that. How you come know, with you, the, how come you never brought this to my attention? Because I was thinking about it today. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh no! Because you brought go back down. He literally got to go back down. When he <laughs> <laughs> when he brought up his the hairy knuckles, I I had a flashback oh to, to god, him what? shaking my hand and yeah. the whole it's thing. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Right. At the very least, he approves of your gay lover, and that's something. That's, that's something. good. That's quality. Yeah, that's tight, man. Yeah. He's also not homophobic. He shook his hand. Yeah. You know. Wow. Yeah, man. Oh, because at my age, you would think I'd have a kid and married, right? Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah, dude. But you have to understand, at your age, all right, when dad was our age, all right, we were in high school. Yeah. What? Steve, does that ever cross your mind, like marriage Wait, say that kid? again? Wait, go ahead, Kalila. Does that ever cross your mind, ever, marriage and kids? Do you ever think, like... I kind of want that. I could picture myself just in a log cabin by myself. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Unabomber. (laughs) Not Unabomber, but just more like Mr. Miyagi in his little... Oh, really? You're going to meditate? Yeah. You'd be clipping bonsai trees in there? Not that, but... What would you be doing in a cabin in the woods by yourself at the age of fucking 60? (laughs) Is there (laughs) Wi-Fi? Yeah. I never really gave it much thought, though, but you're right. Like, never our age. When you were in a relationship, when you were with Ilani yeah. for a long time, did you ever did you Five years ever almost. talk about, um, like, having kids down the line or getting No, married? but I could tell, like, maybe her, her dad was kind of skeptical, like, what's his intent? You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Like, he, they're, I always felt like they're not sizing me up, but kind of wondering, like, where's this going? Yeah. yeah, you know what That's I mean. Every traditional. Yeah, yeah. So. You don't have to fall to the pressures of that. Yeah, I just, yeah. I was it's just wondering if you yourself had those feelings. No, those. I mean, I don't know what happened between us. Yeah, we're we're we really messed up. We should have a kid. Oh, what about you guys? You guys no maybe, kid? Maybe we'll have a kid. We're thinking about adopting. Oh, you want to adopt, babe? Yes, I've always wanted to. Yeah. What? Why'd you give me my thumbs up? No, I had a I had thing I had a thing on my chin. His live live. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, the thing on my ch- do you have a, do you have we look skin, out for each other? Do you have skin tags? I have skin tags. No, I got moles like crazy. You don't have any skin tags. <laughs> Wait, in your you neck? got a cancerous mole removed in your back. I'd stage two melanoma. Yeah, shit. What? Oh the, my! You never told me that. He has a big scar. <laughs> you did. Yeah, I got a ten inch scar on my back. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He just did it right a year ago. No, it's two thousand fifteen. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> you never told me that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. oh my god. Yeah. yeah. It was that, is that cancerous then? Yes, it's a melanoma, babe. Yeah, yeah. And it's stage two. Yeah. Oh man, so glad that, you know, yeah. Thanks, man. you're still with us. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I think you're very talented, dude. He's Thank gotten you. so good at, dude. He's gotten. I know. Better. Don't you don't have to sell me, baby. Oh no. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 You don't have to sell yeah, okay, me. Okay. Okay. So l- what do, I want to do this tonight. I want you to watch Dune, and I'm going to watch Dune on the plane, and we'll you and I will have a discussion when I get off the plane. I'll w- I'll watch it. Cause I land in New yeah. York at around seven thirty in the morning. Mm. How long are you gonna be gone for? For two and a half weeks. Three, almost three, three weeks. Because okay. you have Your to flight. go. I have to go. He has a flight. Yeah. Okay. I have a flight. Oh, dude, I'm thanks so for sorry. having us. So, all right, we're not done yet. Okay. We're not done yet. I I thought we're having a good time here. So we're having a yeah, great I time. Know. Yeah, I thought the podcast was good. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Hasn't that been great? Weekend. So yeah. far, we mm-hmm. did all... Yeah. With the, the, Easiest. The, the, very easy. Mm-hmm. In fact, we should have you guys... Is this better than the last time you were on? What are you guys whispering about? Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Spit it out. Steve... 
we want to watch your mouth think about it watch it close watch it close. think about it we wanted to approach you in the the proper respect respectful way mm -hmm. about what we would like to invite rudy as a guest on our podcast but we know we have to go through the proper channels yeah. of, the, of the slept respectful kingdom. yeah that's oh. respect out of because, respect well for for starters she is um the technically property of bad friends and <laughs> Sounds terrible. Also, property of me because. Yeah. But also, she is her own adult. Mm -hmm. No. She is also twenty years old. Yes, you can ask her yourself. No. Okay. No. See, that's why. That's yeah, why I wanted. To, before yeah. I even approached her, I didn't even want. Uh, that's why I want to ask. Yeah, respect. Do you Out know that she's like seeing? Well, she's been seeing someone very casually, and he is losing his mind about it. Oh, like, oh he's you're being the protected. Father, you're Papa. Like the he straight up. She's like, can I go? She's um, not. See, and she's like, absolutely not. Papa Fuck bear. no. Really. And I'm like, you can oh. go, and he is like. No. No, but this is just podcasting. Listen to me, okay? Of course. <laughs> oh. You'd have to ask her, though. You, you ask her first, because she is a human being, but yeah. I want to say that, Jeremiah, you and I go beyond friendship. We're in sort of a um, flesh. We have, we're flesh. We have a fleshy re relationship in terms of blood. <laughs> And I feel like mm. you could be considered a family member. Mm. Okay? I want to say to you, Steve, okay? You got to get your mouth fixed. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, because I can't stand it anymore. I think the state of my mouth has <laughs> to do with your mouth. Never, <laughs> I feel like when you open your mouth, oh. somehow it affects my mouth. <laughs> it makes it more dark purple and, and, and <laughs> pulpy. No, don't cut it. There's don't a, cut it, right? Action. Please, please get your mouth fixed. Look at me right now, dude. I'll I'll follow up. It's a disaster. I'll follow up. You know what it is, right? Uh, something's going on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to yeah, another yeah, great but, episode of but, Tiger Belly. So let's do an unhelpful advice. Go ahead. Unhelpful advice with Tiger Belly and the Scissor Bros. Uh, this is a really important question from one of our fans. My name is Julius. My sister Katrina, age seven, uh, age seventeen, was killed. Start, start over. You messed uh, up. Okay. My name is Julius. My sister <laughs> Katrina, age seventeen, was killed by her boyfriend. Oh, oh my god! Oh, he stabbed her. <gasps> to add wait, wait, wait. Let's start over. So a guy. Say it again. His sister got stabbed. Stabbed by by another guy. Man. Yes. Oh, we don't terrible. know. Terrible. My sister Katrina, age seventeen, was killed by her boyfriend. Okay. He stabbed her. To add to my misery, he was given two years of manslaughter. <gasps> oh, man. I'm struggling to come to terms with this, and I've just fallen into a loop of smoking weed from morning till night, not knowing what to do with my life. I work as a teacher in London, and I'm 25 years old. I don't hate my job, but life just seems meaningless right now. I have a girlfriend who I love and adore, someone who supports me so much. But is, but is wrong... That is, but is it wrong that I want to leave it all behind and just travel the world? I feel trapped in the city and just want to live and be outdoors. Where do I go from here? And he put in a note that his girlfriend doesn't really want to go with him. Ooh, that's tough. Yeah, you're 25. You don't have kids. Your heart has a hankering. You have these things that feel unsettled within you. I say go and see the world. See if something maybe eases your heart if fucking walking along the fucking plains of where are there plains in America? Well, I talked about the Neil Pert thing. I yes. Think, right? It's the same thing. You guys who Neil Pert is? Mm -mm. Neil Pert was one of the greatest rock and roll drummers of all time. He was the drummer of a band called Rush. Oh, I remember Rush. <laughs> yeah. We drove by his house, by the way. May I move on? Okay, sorry. Did you chuk chuk with him? <laughs> no, he blew me once in a tent. You really got blown in a tent? He kissed it. Oh, so you weren't blown. Sorry. Like, I don't want to talk like about how? <laughs> Just show us. Hey, can you. Sh can he you went like this. He went like this. He went. I go, try it. He goes, I don't want to. Just see what it tastes like. And he goes like this. He went. He did, he did the tongue thing? A little bit, yeah. What do you say it tastes like? Pretty good. Hey. <laughs> Pretty damn good. Good side to really? the story. Yeah, it tastes like that red bean. Oh, I love red bean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it tastes like the red bean. You know how you get a, 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 an Asian, you know what I mean? Azuki? Dessert, dessert, and there's yeah. red bean in it sometimes. Okay. What do you? What? What's going on here? It's tea. For Can we go back to the guy? Tea for timestamp. Go ahead. <laughs> 
All right. Okay. So what Neil Pert, um, what happened was his daughter died in a car accident or something suddenly. And he then, like, right after his wife died. And he looked at his two band ma- mates and said, I'm going on my motorcycle. And I don't know where I'm going. And so for five years, he, they would get postcards from different towns in like South America, Mexico, like little villages. And he'll write like a postcard. I'm still alive. You know what I mean? I'm in this town or whatever. And he did that for five years. He shows up five years later and he traveled all over and he looks at his bandmates and he goes, let's play. Hmm. And they start playing again. My point is, is that Neil Peart needed to do all that to get to back to feeling normal. It, I mean, when life things like that happen, and I, you know, I've never experienced whatever this young man experienced. And it seems fucking horrible. Yeah. And whatever you do, dude, you know, the Tiger Belly family is going to support you in any way. But it is life. You're young. I would go out, what Kalala said, and I would travel. Yeah. <laughs> and find your find find it. Your heart has a hankering. And yeah. I think you should see that through. Let's see what the, let's see what these dumb dumbs have to say about it. Uh, we agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, just add more information. If you, if you have the means to travel, then I say true. I would say definitely do it. If That's you're not going to put yourself in more of a stress with financial stuff, then I say definitely go for it. Yeah, because if you if you have the need and desire to want to go out there and travel, and you have enough saved as a teacher, then you might as well. You're still you're still in your twenties. Like God, see, you see the world. Sorry, yeah. I keep checking my phone. The Dodger. Is, what, what is what's the score? Game. What's the score? What is it? Seven? Oh, six two. Oh, six two. The Dodgers are winning. Oh, six two. Yeah, top I think of the Woo! Albert Pools. Top of the six. I'm um, hit a homer. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy for you. So it'll be three two after this. Yeah, we came back from a three one yeah, deficit yeah, yeah, last yeah, yeah. time. It'll be great. So let's go, Doyle. Did you see Arsenal's game? No. Oh, we tied two two. Yeah, no. Yeah. Anyway, that's the thing. Is that it? That's it. Um, hey, really sorry about your sister passing. That's yeah. really horrible. So sad. It's horrible. What's up? I hope your heart is on the George? line soon. So every what promote? Go ahead, Jeremiah. YouTube.com slash Scissor Bros. And oh, we have so much footage of Coach Brandstetter. Yeah. We home. have footage of us like going in detail into the Poway house. Yeah. We went to Tom DeLong's childhood house. Yeah. We've made a lot of stops in Poway. And yeah, uh, Poway. every Friday, it's new challenges for Scissor Bros. How does the town look, music? How does Poway look? It, you know, Stone Ridge Country Club is no longer there. It looks cleaned up and clean. But there's certain things, like things I don't, I didn't recognize. Like right. New, a bridal wood's still there, but there's like new buildings and yeah. But Poway itself, it looked clean, right? It looked Everything like cleaned is up. pristine there. I was yeah, shocked clean. how like picturesque that yeah. whole city is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I'm on tour. You can uh, mm-hmm. get texted at jeremiahwatkins.com. And I'm trying to get Steve out with me as much as possible. We're doing some mm-hmm. festivals and mm-hmm. stuff coming up. Oh, um, Missouri. Uh, St. Louis. November 13th. 13th and yeah. Tempe super, coming up. And yeah. I'm super jazzed, man. And Bobby's going to, and Kalila, we want you guys as guests on Scissor Bros. We want to do a 2v2 challenge Jeez. sometime. Mm, gladly. Thank you. Do really? not underestimate us. Oh, we'd please, love it. Please, please. King Kong, yeah. baby. King Kong. Oh, and then um, Cartoon Network uh, uh, Sundays. Uh, I'm um, the voice of uh, the new Joker on DC Superhero Girls. Whoa. What? Joker. Wow. Joker. Yeah. Joker. Amazing. Yeah. So I got to plug them too. Yeah. So Cartoon Network, I, DC I gotta Superhero plug. Girls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm on a new Netflix series on Netflix. It's called Inside Job, and I'm one of the regular cast members on it. So, hey, bro, I'm I'm working too, dude. <laughs> you work constantly. You work constantly. Dude, you're always telling me, you're like, ah, my God, Magnum PI, uh, yeah, Sex yeah, in the yeah, City. Yeah, yeah, I just did a movie with Kevin Hart, yeah, Kate Blanchett, yeah, yeah, Selfie Selfie, Bobby baby, Bobby. Baby, baby. <laughs> We're all doing pretty good, huh, baby? Yeah. Hey, Stevie Weeby Show, Jeremiah oh, Wonders. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying yeah. to Give them a round of applause anyway. That was great. Love you guys. That was fun. Love you guys. Yeah. Oh, dude. That was